How you doing there? So now I'm getting ready to launch this CX-23 DL bar. This is our bar boat. It, this is a boat I've been waiting on since uh, we started selling uh, StarCraft. Um, the longest wait for this boat was actually waiting for the, uh, the I was waiting for the 200 to come out uh, just because Mercury's got a uh, little bit of a backup on the bigger motors. So we finally got this in last week. Uh, this is gonna be our second ride out in it. Uh, I took a bunch of pictures the first night we uh, went out and cruised around just to see how the 200 held on this thing. And I'll tell you what, I was really, really happy uh, with the entire thing. This is almost a 25 foot boat and that 200 picks it up and moves it uh, very, very well. Um, very excited about that. So, uh, yep, there we go. All right, pulling off the trailer right now. The super, super, super quiet 250 Verado. And the steering on this is just amazing. It's, it's all hydraulic steering, uh, super comfortable. You can do it with one finger. So anyway, show you what we got going on here. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna show you is the Simrad unit. And uh, when you turn it on, so we got the master power, just turn that on. Startup screen. Tells you all about smoker craft. It's a uh, kind of a cool thing they do when they install it from the factory. Um, so you got the smoker craft startup screen. You got you know, different logos for the different boats smoker craft makes. Uh, obviously, we're in a Starcraft right now. Simrad's getting going. Another thing I want to show you that is right here. Let's see how close we can get. A little nice nook. Where I can put my cell phone and drop it down there. It's tinted, so it's not in direct sunlight. You're not gonna fry your electronics going through the StarCraft, the, the Simrad, excuse me. Um, getting the charge to load up. I got my sonar. I got my uh, navigation on. And this is really set up, so this boat is set uh, with the um, coastal package. So with the coastal package, that gives you the opportunity to go out into uh, whatever bay you want to go to. If you really feel the need and you want to drag this down to the Keys, you're well, more than welcome to do that. Uh, it's got all the anodes and whatever uh, you're going to need for salt water. So if you want to go down to the Keys on a summer vacation and uh, really enjoy uh, the sandbars in the best way possible, uh, this boat is it for you. Um, also, it's, it's great for the uh, sandbars here, uh, up here in Polk County. Um, specifically, uh, my favorite ones are over on Lake Winterset. Um, so, obviously, with the entire layout, which we'll go on before we start running this thing, um, you got super comfortable, refined front lounges uh, each one of the cup holders has a USB port inside of it you can see it real well on that side uh, going around uh, full use of the entire deck layout you got storage all over the place and make sure that it doesn't just accidentally pop open see one of the cool things is it's got that plastic piece behind your high-end JL speakers right uh, and what that does for you is that makes sure that you're not catching any of the wires and screwing up any of the wires when you're using that storage facility. We got a changing room right here that lifts up, changing room folds down, uh, just in case you got to uh, change on the water. You know, you're out for a cruise and you decide that you want to go into a nice place and uh, dock up for dinner. You can do that and you don't have to worry about uh, breaking some kind of dress code, right? Another thing we got here, we got the bar stool seats. And I'm gonna put the camera up and really give me, give you a really good demonstration on how these bar stools work, right? So very simple, 
the button down here, pop it right up, get them out of the way where they secure. Here, these are brand new, so they're a little bit sticky, uh, but that's a good thing. That means they're not going anywhere. And then I got stools on the other side as well. So now that I have the stools all out of the way, what I can do is there's a strap here that you know keeps this from rattling when you're running. Undo that strap. And then I'm gonna bring you around on this side. So right there's that strap I was just talking about. And then the next thing you do is you push this button. Uh, this side goes down first. Drop that down. Drop that down. Now, push that over. I have a full latch. In addition to that full lounge, obviously we got the good ski toe bar. Keep it above that outboard. And you can pull skiers, tubers, whoever you want. Right? And that's just getting started on all the amenities on this particular boat. Now the 200, that's good because you're gonna get a lot better fuel economy uh, than you would out of a 225 or a 250. As you can see, all my gauges up here, let me know what's going on. Mile per hour is up here. That's actually by a GPS unit. Um, not the same unit as the Simrad, so you got two different places to find your miles per hour. Uh, and then obviously your voltage, your trim, I got the trim all the way down, getting ready to get a good hole shot. Uh, got about five eighths of a tank. Um, not, oh, I'm sorry, about three eighths of a tank, my bad. Uh, so this tank, holds 60 gallons. I put 20 gallons in it this morning. So we'll go over the switches for all the lights and all that other stuff after we do a quick run. As you can see, the acceleration is phenomenal. throttle we're sitting at about a little over 40 miles an hour now mind you if you had a 250 on this you'd only be getting about 44 so you're really not losing top end speed but you're still keeping that low end jump out of the hole best fuel economy when you're cruising the bay, cruising the lakes, and so on and so forth.
go ahead and set down. As soon as we set down, you'll see the transducer starts going back in the water. So now we have an idea how deep it is. We don't end up running into any uh, shoals or anything like that um, as we see the bottom start coming up. So, go ahead and slow it down. I'm gonna put it in an idle. Uh, the reason why I wanna keep the motor on is I wanna show you how quiet that 200 four stroke is. I mean, right now you can't even hear it. Now you hear the highway more than you hear that motor. And I'm gonna show you, this is still running. And some of these motors, some of the things you got to do is just keep looking back here and watch a pin because that's sometimes the only way you can tell this thing is still actually running. So going from the back, I already showed you the bar. I showed you the lounge going back. This, you can still have a lounge there and you can have ample seating here. Uh, you got your nice, really clean finished table for your little seating area. Um, in addition to that, you got your galley right here inside the galley um obviously you see i got the simrad sun cover and all that but it comes with a little trash that way you don't have to figure out you know what to do with all the trash beer cans uh maybe uh dixie cups and whatnot um you take care of that and you put it in a nice one uh safe little spot and at the end of the day you know where to go get all your stuff and clean out your boat really really fast so we have the high-end Media Master 50 JL Audio. So I'm gonna turn on the radio, hit that light. I already have my phone attached to this, so it's gonna automatically go to my phone and it should, there we go. Now you notice that it's got dual zone stereo. So all I have to do is hit that once and I can turn the bow or the four stereo up. Now it's time for me to go. I have to catch me train. So I leave you sitting at the bar and face the wind and rain. But I'll have the pint you want. So you see how it changed? When we meet next week in Frankfurt in the fields of Bath and Rhine. They've got one and Hallelujah. And then all you have to do is get them about equal, and they'll be the same. So whether you sing or pull a pint, you'll always have a job. Cause wherever you go around the world, you'll find an Irish pub. So, it's March, so it's uh, that time for the Irish pub songs, right? So, all right, another place you got ample storage. Right up there. Uh, that's where you put your day bags, uh, your beach bags, other things out there. Um, and then it's easy enough to, if you want to put a tube right here, uh, that tube can go right in this area right here. Um, you notice that the high end JL Audio Marine speakers, that's where we're getting that really, really crisp sound from. And we got more storage. And storage under here, storage under there. Your batteries are back here. It's got a dual battery setup. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about running out of battery in a day. Um, and then it's gonna charge itself uh, as it goes on, uh, as you run that motor, right? So again, remember, I was doing all that talking, that motor's still running. I just put it in gear and we're going. We never even started. Super easy to start. There you go. All right, as you're going to the Simrad, this is a Go 7, um, you have a bunch of options here, right? Another thing that we are is we are a certified Navico dealer. So we deal in uh, Lawrence and Simrad here across the industries. But uh, one of the best things to see, so uh, should you decide if you're going diving or something off of this boat, uh, your down scan uh, really can help you out find that structure that you want to go find or if you want to anchor up and uh, drop a line or two uh, You definitely can um, obviously this is not the purpose of this boat uh, Purpose of this boat is Really for lounging and uh, enjoying recreation on the water uh, tubing and skiing and so whatnot um, 
However, you know, many of us are divers, so uh, that, that's a really good option uh, that you can do from here, and that, that's what helps uh, with that. Um, as you can see, we got the dual bimini. Uh, that, uh, that really helps cover the entire thing on those really hot, sun, sun, really hot sunny days, excuse me, on that one. Um, and then CX-23 DL bar. This is definitely my favorite boat that we have right now. And pretty much it's going to make somebody very, very happy to spend time on the water, time with a bunch of their friends. And fit 11 of your favorite friends, bring them out here, have a blast, go to your favorite sandbar and uh, be the talk of sandbar with the people that have the best bar on their boat. All right. So we're gonna go load it up and uh, show you how easy that is with these awesome Road King trailers that we got. So with the composite bunks we have, or the composite covers we have on the bunks on here, um, it really, really helps out with driving this up on the trailer. Smooth, as you saw, I didn't have to hardly give it any gas. I push it all the way up to the front bunks um, at the end. And uh, right now I got uh, Mr. Andrew, who's working for me, um, going off and uh, securing it down before I drive it off the ramp. Um, but that's it. That's the CX-23 DL bar. Again, one of my favorite boats that we have here. And it's going to make you extremely happy when you come get it. It's This is the boat that you want for this summer.